So if you clicked on this video, you already know about the Magnific AI and you already know this is one of the best image upscaler on the internet basically by far because it's actually recreating the details in the image and it's not just upscaling. For the people that might not know about the Magnific AI, the Magnific AI goes in there and actually recreates all of the detail based on the prompt we are giving it. And even though if you don't use prompt, it's gonna recreate it by itself based on the creativity uh, prompt or a high dynamic range and anchor, you can give it and play with it. It actually recreates and gives us the really high resolution image. And it's not gonna be uh, using the like uh, old AI upscalers that actually just uh, upscale the image and try to make a good quality out of it. I don't know how does it work, but this one recreates. This is a really great example. So we have this really low resolution uh, image of this old man and the AI goes in there and recreate everything very close to the original image. And we ended up with the higher quality image and it just recreates everything. I mean, you can see on the beard section, it actually just recreates, but it's very natural. That's the thing, it's very natural. It does multiple different uh, styles, anime, cartoon, and uh, everything. So this is the perfect upscaler that I could find on the internet and I was uh, hooked. So I wanted to uh, use it for my thumbnail creation process and I was going to actually get the subscription. But the problem was uh, if I wanted to use it like 200 times per month, I have to pay $40 per month, which is huge. I'm not gonna even use it as much, maybe, I don't know, 20 times per month, but still have to pay the subscription fee. So I went to the rabbit hole of finding another tool alternatives. I tried 10 other image upscaler. None of them got even close to the quality of Magnific AI. But I only found one, Clarity AI. The creator of this AI actually reverse engineered, and that's what he said on Twitter, that he reverse engineered the Magnific AI model, multi-fusion AI model, and came up with this Clarity AI, okay? This one is the same thing basically, recreates the detail. You can get close to the image that you want, uh, playing with the parameters and stuff like that, with the prompts. But as you can see, we have this low resolution bird and it goes in there and recreates everything in highest detail possible. And it's super sharp, super high quality detail. A little bit more features, so it goes in and recreates again. Same features so far. As you can see, it's really high quality. Even pixelated image gonna be sharp. Recreates everything basically, it gives you a new generated image based on the low quality image. Actually it does this style transform as well. So if you give it like a sketch of your idea and it will come up with the rendering, realistic rendering of that image. Super impressive. Okay, so what's the problem with this one? Just a little bit cheaper, same tokens, same 200 usage for upscale, but it's only $30. So $10 cheaper, you get a better model, it's actually way better. Now, here's the interesting part. I clicked on the Comfy UI. Comfy UI is basically running this AI model on your own uh, computer. So you don't really pay like these services and stuff like that. You need to download the model. You need to be a little bit tech savvy to understand how does it work, how you can get the best results. So I did that because I thought it's gonna be free because this website gives you an API key and you need to put it in the Comfy UI, you can use it. So basically Comfy UI gonna be like this. You can load the image, you have a node to Clarity AI Upscaler and you have to put the API here uh, that you get from this website. And it gives you the same result that you're gonna get with the subscription on this website. So the problem was when I run the API, it gave me you ha don't have any credits. So basically I need to sign up for a subscription and be able to use it in the Comfy UI and run it on my own machine. So why would I pay like the same amount of fee? Maybe if it was $15 per month, 
that would make sense to use it for Comfy UI because I'm going to run the AI model on my own machine. So I'm not going to rent it from other places. It didn't still worth it for me. He actually offers it on a website which is called Replicate. So Replicate is basically a bunch of servers with like graphic cards, huge servers that you can rent to run AI models and it's dirt cheap. And I was really happy that Clarity AI was offered on this website. So I signed up for it. We have the Clarity AI upscaler. I'm gonna link it down in the description so you can just come to this page right away. It just basically says that we're gonna need a 840 gigabyte model, uh, the hardware to run this model. And we have the pricing for NVIDIA 880 gigabytes, $5 per hour, okay? But keep in mind, most of these renders basically takes around 30 seconds. So it's not gonna be much. I'm gonna give you examples. We have basically the model here, same thing. We have the same bird. That is the results. You can go into full screen and check if you're happy with the result and you can change the parameters, change your prompt and everything and come up with new image. So you can upload your own image from your computer. All right, so we have this low resolution image. Let's just download it. I'm just gonna drag it in and uh, I'm not gonna touch anything. So we're gonna have a scale factor of two and we're gonna have a dynamic of six. I, in my testing, the best option is like four maybe, if you wanna get the image close to the original image. And as far as the creativity, I'm going to drop it down to 25. I just want to get an image really close to the picture that we have here. And I'm going to go the resemblance up to the maximum. So the more uh, resemblance, it's going to uh, be way closer to the original image. And if you drop it down, AI is going to use more of the creativity to recreate a different image. I'm going to show you the example, but Let's go with the resemblance and I'm not going to touch anything else down here. Maybe sharpen in the future, but not right now. I'm going to run it and it's going to use the resources on the replicate website just to run this model and it was super fast. Okay, so we got this image. So this is a super low resolution image and we go in here and you don't have any pixelation anymore. This is a really good upscale because the model actually recreated all of this hair and everything, eyes, everything is recreated. That's crazy. Every strand of hair is created from scratch. Okay, so if you wanna change anything about this image, you can go in here, maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna add human here and I'm gonna add a sharpness to it just to get the sharper image sharpen seven on the sharpness and actually i'm gonna scale it by three this time a little bit more creative i'm gonna drop down the resemblance to 2.9 let's try it again so you have to play with these parameters to get your desired image and if you want to be as close as possible to the original you have to max out the resemblance but for the sake of this video okay so as you can see we got a lot sharper image but it's different than the original one so as you can see it almost gave us gave us a like a girly look as you can see but the image is a man right but i mean i'm super impressed about the hair recreation it's just the exact same hair but recreated from scratch. I'm so amazed. Okay, so what we need to do because we didn't get the result we wanted, right? So I'm just gonna go back and I add man just to tell the AI it's not a woman. No makeup because it has some makeup on it and stuff like that. And uh, let's do, okay, I'm gonna go resemblance tree. Let's run it again. Very interesting result though. If you like this video, please like this video and let me know, give me a comment because I go in the rabbit holes of AI and I found the best stuff for you. Okay, so we got a lot better result and 
we have like this so way better result and we actually have a like a manly face and uh, not girly like before and it doesn't have a makeup but it's still not close to the original image I can tell the original image was like a dark eyes I'm gonna add dark eyes in the prompt just to make sure we get super close as you can see so if you explain the original image more and more you're gonna get the better results so dark eyes and I'm gonna drop down the creativity maybe to a 2.225 0.25 just to make sure because the maximum is one as you can see so when I drop the creativity a little bit lower it didn't give me the dark eyes though but it's way closer to the original image way closer so for this image I was satisfied with the higher creativity level because the original image is super low resolution and I wanted to get a better image basically but this one is very closer to the original image let me know what you think uh, if you agree with me but this one was a good example let's try another image all right so we have this image I'm gonna change uh, the prompt to woman woman I'm gonna remove no makeup and I'm gonna remove dark eyes everything uh, extra a scale factor 3 dynamic 4 is fine I'm gonna go to 3 maybe for creativity that's usually the range that I was that I'm at usually and uh, sharpness 7 fine I'm gonna run it and just to, to give you an example of the pricing let me just go to my account from July 19th to August 1st I only spent two dollar twenty cent on this account and I around like I don't know maybe 20 30 image on basically this website and just two dollar instead of paying uh, I don't know $39 uh, $29 on the clarity website it's just dirt cheap and the image that we just uh, rendered cost us 34 cents so super cheap for each image I'm really satisfied and this is the result okay wow this is crazy so this is the before and we go in damn isn't that impressive look at the hair I would say the sharpness is a little bit too much for this image okay but the results are really good I mean we have a changed eye color but the eyebrows are nice not the exact same position but we have a really good you can tell that maybe this is the same person but maybe younger it's just made it younger in my opinion right we can add the prompt maybe a woman in her like I don't know 50s that would help with the result uh, because what I noticed this AI image tries to make the people a little bit more beautiful I think it got trained on like a really pretty people and you can download it here with the format that you like you can select the format down here we have web uh, p jpeg and png i'm going to drop down the resolution to uh, the sharpness to five and uh, resemblance three that's fine and creativity 0.25 and dynamic is fine and woman in her 50s okay and i'm gonna run it again hopefully we get a result which is a lot closer to that image but that was a crazy result that you could use it for uh, any scenario and people still could tell that's the same person right but maybe with some filters on this AI model is crazy you can play with it uh, and you can get a really good result and I hope I brought really good value for you guys okay so this is the results all right okay so as you can see with one prompt we got a really better result we we see more of age in her face okay but the hair though I mean her is amazing 
So this is the final result. I would say it's very closer. So the resemblance is super high. But I'm not happy about the teeth. I can fix that in the prompt, okay? But overall, extraordinary upscale in my opinion. Let me know if you agree with me, but extraordinary. Everything is in the same spot. But higher detail resolution, perfect. Even skin tones, everything is awesome. It's like a professional shoot. What I noticed, the earring on her ear is misplaced. We can fix that. Okay, so let's change the teeth. Let's put nice teeth. Okay, nice teeth. Let's put earrings as well. And we're gonna run it again. I can drop down the sharpness a little bit more because, but it's too sharp, but it's good. I mean, it's fine. You can play with these parameters and get the best result yourself. Okay, this is the final. As you can see, the earring got fixed. We have a better earring, it's actually attached. Okay. Eye color is changed. We can put that in the prompt, the blue color. Let's see the teeth. Okay, the teeth is actually the exact same teeth as the image, but it's it gives me a little bit fake teeth. I can drop down the resemblance to 2.9, so the AI can actually recreate some of it, but overall, amazing results. Amazing results. Look at the hair. I mean, no AI could enhance the quality of that hair. Isn't that crazy? Or I'm just super excited about these AI features. And it's dirt cheap. So that's uh, basically what I wanted to tell you in this video. And uh, just want to share this with you guys. If you're interested in the AI future, I have other tools in the audio that I wanna share in the future. If you want, If you're interested, just subscribe to my channel and we can talk about this AI stuff and share our knowledge with each other. And let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next videos.